We've succeeded in bypassing the elbow and getting underneath underhook control. Basically, underhook control with our uh, thigh. Okay, when I talk about underhook, we're going underneath, but it doesn't have to always be arm. Because we're like and you, you can test this because he's not going to want to be here. He's want to get his instinct is to get this elbow to the ground. So if I'm here, Sandy's instinct is to scream and get his elbow, and that he's he's going to protect himself. Because if you lock your thigh with your elbow here and squeeze in tightly here. Uh, it's a little hard to get your foot out. Yeah. Mm. So you'll notice that you're succeeding in this because he's struggling to get this, this arm out. Alright, let's do this in stages. This is quite nice. One. See where his arm is? Last time I taught this, I taught a version where you pin the arm down. And once you pin it down, you get the leg over and you go in for ooh, nice textbook seated. Now the triangle, right? <clears throat> And that's all well and good, nothing wrong with that. But against the sand deep, you're not going to get that. As soon as I start doing this, you know what's up, he's not going to let me pin that down. So we have to use something else at disposal. And there's no harm in just doing it step by step. And because he's like this, there's a massive gap here. Even if he puts his knee up to block, I'm going to slide my knee in. <laughs> We're going to do the Mauricio style knee on chest here. This is, once you put your full weight on it, it's, it's not nice, is it? And even he knows, from white belt up to brown belt, not to push away with the forearm, but he can't help it because it's horrible. And that's when you can start doing the mounted triangle. So I'll break the mounted triangle up into stages. Uh, so you make sure you get it technically right because it's, it's not high risk, but I think it, because of the big step that you're going to take, there's potential for it to, it to fall apart. It all starts from Isolating the arm. You could try this, but against an experienced guy, I think it's going to fall flat. So, yeah, more on chest. Kind of pressure. Pin that down. Lift the head. Sorry. Lift the head. And if you haven't got the flexibility to spin that all the way around, there's no harm in just going to mount from here. Yeah. Trapping, look at his arm, trapping his head. Lift the head up here. Make sure there's no gap between your inner thigh and his neck. because. You know, otherwise, you won't be trying. <coughs> I need to create space for this leg to go over, so I lean that way, almost like he's gonna push into me. But I have the strength. This, this is a buttress. I don't. I feel I'm pretty strong from here. I can even lift my foot up, get this over, and try and dorsiflex your foot. Don't let it limp like that. Strong. Sitting down. I change the angle so that his his um own shoulders going into his uh, neck. <coughs> so far okay? Mm -hmm. So once again, well, these are bits that are fairly familiar to. This position should be fairly familiar to. The knee on chest is just a variation on rather than twisting around. Rather than seeking the gap here, which would be a regular knee or belly, I'm going up high here, with the effect that the knee is quite weakened from here. Pin down, sit to mount, lift the head, find the little rollover bit, so you get a nice little catch there. Arm across, and angle down. Yeah, sorry, that was a little harder. You've got that there. Do it as slow as that, guys. I don't think you can do it fast anyway. We can do the swing around fast, and then he probably could. The finish is quite slow, because you're not actually going to do it. When somebody is putting all their weight up here, <coughs> They can thrash around all they like, but you're not coming off, are you? Don't roll over though. I'll talk about that in a minute. But do this for now, this will be the main technique and we'll see where, where this goes. Alright, one, two, three, let's go. When you take full mounts with the points, there's no penalty for storage. So you can stay on there as long as you like. All right, yeah. mm -hmm. And it's the onus of the person I need to escape. And if you can make life hell for them, you know, you make life hell for them. You don't have to submit them. You know, it's up to you. You can last the whole five minutes out and just wave at the audience, okay? But if you're going to do stuff, I don't feel Sandy. You're going to, I think the mouth of triangle is good. So, so say you were in a good side and actually get here. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, he could scoop underneath and try and escape. So as you see him wriggling around, you can scoop up. Start picking up the head. Once you pick up the head, you don't even have to go for the triangle. Um, it's very hard to do what you want to do, isn't it? Mm. With me capturing the head. It's as simple as that, it's just a mechanic. By bending, also bending, not only lifting up, but turning sideways. 
it's, it's, just, it's just very awkward for you to do. It's not hurt him, but he just, you know, just tried to hit, bump and escape. He's just, whereas if I didn't do anything, okay, well, he's, he's got a very strong underbook there. But just a simple thing of lifting up here um, does, a, does a lot to serve you for your next thing. So why not just go for this? Okay. I'm going to do the non locked in version. Just not, not that I can't, but, you know, I can, but I want to show you the next one. So there is a theory, yes, a lot of people teach it, so you roll over. The rolling over is where the arm is pointing, roll the head, and you roll over your own shoulder, and lock in the triangle. And then you finish it up, right? And we'll do the full guard triangle in the next lesson. So uh, I, I'm an advocate of the theory that if you don't have to roll over, why should you? Okay, so with this locked in here, with this here, I think, well, oh, I don't have to roll over, why not try and complete at least a version of this, make him suffer for a bit. It's up to me whether I roll over, I don't have to roll over. And if, if you don't have to roll over, then what can I do? Well, look at this arm. Two arms, bring to your chest, bring it over. Okay, even if he's got almighty strength, wrist lock. The wrist lock's only available from blue belt and above. So, you know, enjoy. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> White belts, I will let you try this in drilling only, but not in sparring. Okay? If you want to do the wrist lock, when the, when the arm is bent, I'll take the weight off by the way, don't sit like this, but you know, just an example. So, isolating and securing the elbow against your hip stroke chest here, so it doesn't wobble around, and, and access to the hip, uh, sorry, the wrist, gives you the wrist lock. So, yeah. See how Sandeep's, uh, he's not clenching his hand? If you do that and push down really hard, it hurts, okay? But some people are really flexible. If you Clamp over the fingers, okay, and bend, hurts so much more. And I'll take the little <laughs> You can do that to yourself. If you do that and press down, and press really hard, at some point you're gonna go, now do that and then wrist lock yourself and you'll feel that pulling against all the tendons here. And then I also have the option of putting my entire chest <laughs> on that wrist as well, which is horrible. <laughs> So this one wasn't meant to be a wrist lock lesson, but it's available. It's one of the few positions that is so available. You might as well try it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> try the armbar, and if they resist, there's the wrist lock uh, for a man strike, and then we'll move on to uh, the triangle for people with short legs. Yes? Okay. Okay. Uh, moving on, let's do a triangle that is better for people with small legs, right? Because um, yeah. to be honest, those. This kind of thing does require a bit of a leg extension, especially if you want to lock it in. And it's the same for this one. I find that people with long legs are much better. It's no coincidence that one of the best leg lock um, triangles in the world is Brandon Steamer. Have you seen his legs? He's like walking on, he's a stalk, isn't it? And he can get all sorts of crazy positions. But I think, um, I think this might work better, uh, Alvaro Lucas. You can do the Kimura trap, okay? So from side now, just spin around so the head is here. So same sort of thing really from here, but if I once I start working the Kimura, it doesn't matter whether I've necessarily caught it on the ground or not, I've got the Kimura grip, as so you can see. Okay, then I have a lot of options available to me. I like the Kimura trap, Sandeep's a big fan as well. You can, let's let's do it in a sort of nice controlling logical way. From here, you could just work into the north-south position, and then we're going to fall off. As I fall off, he sits up and I gather his far leg here, bring it in, bring this over, I pull his arm in here, pull mine in, and we're tapping here. So it's an inverted triangle, not reverse triangle, it's an inverted triangle. So we're trying to do this in stages for you, sir, so you're in control in each step of the way. You can, of course, get the Sorry. You can of course just go straight into the Kimura trap from here. You have to be fairly quick to succeed in in this bit. Okay. Once you have this triangle configuration, and this is why I say it's better for people with what well, not so confident with a regular triangle, this inverted triangle is, is, is no different from then just stepping over. But when you catch the arm as well. Here. So your top leg goes over first, gathering his arm, then the bottom leg comes in. Pull the arm first before you bring in everything else. Okay, let's leave them like this. Okay, so you use your, you use your bum basically to squeeze the hips across the hips forward. So just do it in the stage.
stages version. It's very available to you, isn't it? Yeah, it's very available. I think I remember speaking to Tom Bowler about this. And of course, the obvious one is to go for the head scissors here. And the arm is not there. But he argues that a lot of people, when he tries this, they're big fans of the camera trap. When he tries this, they just hold out here and then you're kind of stuck here for a bit. And yeah, there's that arm free. So, whereas it's, if you can do this, you can also do this. It's, it's actually. Um, typically, that's a thing to, to, for you to do to get what you want to do. Okay. Yes. Everyone, did I explain it? Good enough. Yes, everyone happy to try that? Yeah, we'll the last technique of the day. Yeah, oh, Sorry, did you want to see that? You'll find.